Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be looking at integration of partial fractions. I'll use this example to show us how to integrate partial fractions. Now look at this. If you have, we have this example to integrate 7x plus 8 over 2x squared plus 11x plus 5 with respect to the x. First thing I want to do is I want to resolve this my quadratic equation 2x squared plus 11x plus 5 into its different components or rather I want to factorize this my quadratic equation now to factorize this I'll pick the first part the 2x squared and my 5 I'll multiply them that will be 10x squared now, I'll pick the factors of my 10x that I'll multiply to get 10x squared that I will add together to get my 11x. Those factors obviously are 10x and x. In case you missed my lessons where I explained how to factorize quadratic equations, please do not hesitate to check this link. I've placed the link here to help you assess that lesson. And also, I'll place the link in the description below too. So that here is, I'll be replacing my 11x with 10x plus 1. That is, my equation becomes 2x squared plus 10x plus x plus 5. So doing, I've not changed the equation. Now, I'll bring out my first factors. That will be 2x. I'll be left with x here plus 10 plus 1. And I'll be left with x here plus, plus 5. So that I have oh, x plus 5 here. No, sorry, not plus 10. It's x plus 5. So I have x plus 5 and x plus 5 as commons. So I have 2x plus 1 into x plus 5. That's the same thing as my 2x squared plus 11x plus 5. So that my equation now can begin to look like this. 7x plus 8, the integral of 2x squared plus 11x plus 5. The same thing as the integral of 7x plus 8 over 2x plus 1 into x plus 5. Now, so that I can now begin to resolve my 7x plus 8 over 2x plus 1 into x plus 5 into its basic component, which will be a over 2x plus 1 plus b over x plus 5. Now I can resolve this into its component first. Let's get a new sheet. a over 2x plus 1 plus b over x plus 5. Only rewritten them so that this is the same thing as I'll pick an LCM. This is 2x plus 1 into x plus 5. 2x plus 1 in this LCM, I'll be left with x plus 5. So I have a into x plus 5 plus b now into 2x plus 1. Now, in case you missed our lesson where we explained how to resolve partial fractions, please do not hesitate to check the description below. We have placed a link to those lessons so that you can get access to them. To ensure you get our lessons anytime we create them, please hit the subscribe button. That way, we'll be sure you get notified anytime we create lessons. And so that conclusively, we're saying that our 7x plus 8 over 2x plus 1 into x plus 5 is the same thing as a into x plus 5 plus b into 2x plus 1 over 2x. This is 2x plus 1 into x plus 5. Now, so that we're saying that I can equate my numerator of 7x plus 8 will be the same thing as a now into x plus 5 plus b into 2x plus 1. Now, so that 7x plus 8 is the same thing as ax plus 5a plus 
2bx plus b. Now, so let's, let's, let's call it light terms. 7x plus 8 is the same thing as I have ax and I have 2bx. I have this as a plus b or 2b rather into x plus 5a plus b. Now let's equate like terms or let's equate coefficients so that I'm saying that my 7 is equal to a plus 2b and my 8 is equal to 5a plus b. Uh, this is a simultaneous equation, and I prefer to use the elimination method to solve this simultaneous equation. I can easily multiply my equation 1. Let's call this equation 1. Let's call this equation 2. I can easily multiply. Okay, let's multiply equation 2. I, or let's multiply equation 1. I can easily multiply equation 1 by minus 5 and add to equation 2. So that will be 35. Here will be minus 35. I'm multiplying by minus 5 equals minus 5a minus 10b. So by the time we add to equation 2, we'll be saying minus 35 minus uh, minus 35 plus 8, that's minus 27. 5 minus 5 gives way equals minus 9b. Now let's divide both sides by minus 9. Divide this side by minus 9. Here is 1, 9 in 27 is 3. So that's 3 now equals to B. What's my AB? So we know this is 7 is equals to A plus 2B. This is equation 1. If my B, this is 7 is equals to A plus, we can now replace my B here so that 7 collecting like terms minus 6, 2 times 3 is 6. I've brought it to the other side to become negative is equals to a. Obviously, a is equals to 1. Let me open a new slide. I will resolve that my a is equals to 1 and my b is equals to 3. I can simply rewrite my equation for 7x plus 8 over 2x squared plus 11x plus 5. Now, the same thing as the integral of now, I prefer to use this bracket. My a is 1. That will be 1 over 2x plus 1 plus 3 over x plus 5 with respect to dx. Now, I can break this down to the integral of 1 over 2x plus 1 with respect to dx plus the integral of 3 over x plus 5 with respect to the x. Now, let's, with this, we can begin to integrate this one after the other. I can use my function of a function to integrate these functions. So that I'll be saying that let u be equals to 2x plus 1. And at the same time, let v be equals to x plus 5. So that if u is equals to 2x plus 1, my du dx be equals to 2, which implies that my dx at this side of the equation is equals to du over 2. Now, and for the second part of the equation, if dv v is equals to x plus 5, dv dx will be equals to 1, and my dx will be equals to dv. So that, we're saying that, so now we can now substitute for both v and u in this equation, so that my equation now becomes, my equation becomes, the integral of 1 over u dx. The x is this, we've gotten our dx to be du over 2. That will be du over 2 plus 3. I'm bringing out 3 
1 over v. And at this side, we've gotten dv to be equal to dx, dv. Now, so on integrating, you know, when we int from standard integrals, the integral of 1 over u is the same thing as ln u plus c. So that this becomes the ln of, this is 1 over 2, because of the 2 I have in here, ln of u plus c plus c now, ln of v plus c. Both c here and this c are both constants. So I can group them into just one c. There's no need splitting a constant. So this is 1 over 2 ln u. u is the same thing as 2x plus 1 plus 3 ln v. v is the same thing as x plus 5. Now, plus c plus c so conclusively we've been able to integrate this function with this i hope you understand how to integrate partial fraction we'll take more examples in further lessons thank you for staying with us and see you in our next class